your 10 grand. Uh, tell us what that's all about. Yes, yeah, so I was part of the AFL Players Care, so for the Players Association. So every every game we play, we donate fifty dollars to um, or to go to, towards charity. So half of that money will go to the AFL's charity and ladder, and the other half comes to the club and the playing group. Um, basically, gets to choose where it goes. Last year, we put five grand towards a Good Friday appeal, and obviously the uh, added significance of playing on Good Friday this year, we've decided to, to give the ten grand uh, this year to it. Great stuff. Now, with that significance, are you filling up? Has it got you up and about? Yeah, it's. Um, yeah, it's exciting. It's uh, we actually spoke about it during early in the week. You know, is it a bigger game than normal? Is it not? But you know, at the end of the day, it's for four points. But obviously, it's a it's a first for not only footy but for us as well. So, look, we're looking forward to it. And um, you know, Friday probably can't come quick enough. What do you say to people who don't want this game played on Good Friday? Oh, look, I'm sure everyone's got their own reasons as to why they want it and why they don't. I mean, personally, I can only speak from my opinion, and I'd, I've always loved to. You know, always wanted to play on Good Friday, and I've been here eight years now, and you know the club's been probably lobbying for 30. Um, I've been hoping for it and hanging for it, and the, the time's here, so hopefully we can uh, put on a good show on Friday and link up with the, the Good Friday appeal, and um, you know hopefully raise a bit of money for the for the cause. Three weeks in, Big Braden Proust has become a bit of a cult figure, hasn't he? Yeah, he's um well the thing is he's a cult figure probably in the media now and outside the footy club, but he's probably been a cult figure from the, the day we drafted him when uh, the photo surfaced of him with his dreadlocks. and So the boys love him and, you know, to his credit, he's now playing some really good footy. Are you surprised with how quick he's been able to adapt to the game? Yes, very much so, and I think he probably is a little bit too, but, you know, he came here and the one thing he's always had is his size and his aggression and, and he's learning how to harness that and play, play to his strengths. And, you know, to be honest, the first three games he's probably surprised everyone, um, including himself. So hopefully he can keep the form up and, and play some more more good footy for us. At the uh, 0 3 start, but you've obviously been competitive in all three of the games, and especially the Geelong one. Does that sort of take the edge off it a little bit, or? Yeah, it's a it's a little bit different. Obviously, 0 and 3 is not ideal, but you know, someone said to me the other day, "Oh, no one would be speaking about it if you win by a point against Geelong, and that's only it's only a small margin." So, look, we you you can only suppose judge how we've been playing because you don't know where the three sides that we've played are going to finish up. They could be the best three teams in the comp. You don't know. So, look, we're playing some reasonably good footy. We're still competitive. We're, you know, we're fighting games out to the end and, and um, unfortunately results haven't come our way. But, you know, you can only hang in there and hopefully we'll get some reward for effort. And the, the Dogs, what have you made at their form so far? Obviously a bit of a mixed start to the season. Yeah, I think so. I mean, the Dogs play a pretty exciting brand of footy. They, um, you know, we saw what they could do last year and, and we actually... I think around, around six last year we knocked them off and then they got us towards the end of the year and probably got us pretty easily as well. And then obviously what, you know, the rest is history as to what they could do. But they're playing some good footy. They, they always have. They've got some really good players as well, some, some really good young guys. And, um, you know, it's going, to be, it's going to be on on Friday. Speaking of, we just spoke of Prusy then with his aggression, but can you physically intimidate the dogs or is that something you need to do? Um, no, I don't think so. You can physically intimidate a lot of teams, but sometimes it, it can it can actually hurt you. So I don't think it's we well, certainly won't go with a plan to try and physically intimidate them. We'll just ask Bruce in particular, just play play your own game. In it. You know, whatever whatever that looks like, it looks like. So it won't be a plan for us because, as I say, sometimes it can backfire a little bit. You can fire them up a bit, and um, yeah, we'll just put the plan in place and, and go ahead with that.